what is it that we actually are doing the end products that, that make a difference? If you were to go look at the average plane that was being built by Boeing 10 years ago, you would see that the amount of composite material would make up far less than 1% of the total weight of that plane. Now Lufthansa and Emirates fly the, the Airbus 380, a uh, number of uh, United flights coming in and out of Houston are the Boeing 787. For every single one of those Boeing 787s that are coming in and out of Houston, there's over 22 tons of Huntsman material per plane. Now think about that, that's all replacing aluminum. And it's making that plane lighter, it's making it more fuel efficient, it's giving it better range, it's giving it a better opportunity for people to be traveling in and out of, of Houston and it's expanding our, our global reach. You think of the automobile industry, it used to be 10 years ago, the only time you see Huntsman composites and so forth in the average automobile was in a Formula One race car where you needed days to be able to make a single molded part of composite materials. Today as you came in through the parking lot here you saw the BMW i3. That whole entire uh, frame and the chassis of that is out of Huntsman composite materials. What used to take us minutes to produce, five, ten minutes per panel, now is down to 60 seconds and even less. We're now starting to be able to get composite materials stronger, lighter, more effective, more, effective, more efficient than, than uh, metal alloys and so forth, coming from a raw material base that comes right here in the state of Texas, where we're able to now compete on a mass production basis. As you look five or ten years down the road, our cars will be lighter, they'll be stronger, they'll be far more fuel efficient, and they will be able to, to build those cars around the consumer, the exact needs of the consumer. But that's innovation. That's what comes out of this site right here.